Hey guys, it's Kevin over here at Lakeside Buggies and I've got a brand new product over here today from GoTrax. This is called the Tundra e-bike. We just got these in along with about 13 other uh, GoTrax products. So I've got this one out here for a little bit of testing. This bike is pretty large frame. I'm about 6'3", and for me, it's perfect. Uh, one of our people in the shop, she's about 5'4". It was a little tough for her to get onto. In fact, I think she just said she couldn't ride it, so this is definitely a good bike for a taller rider. Um, you know, most of my videos are about golf carts, but this one today is gonna be about this GoTrax line of electric bike. I'm not pedaling very hard, so I'm not working very hard for this. Today I've got a really cool new product. This is the GoTrax Tundra electric bicycle. We just got all of the GoTrax line in our store, including their golf cart, which uh, their golf cart is really cool. But these bikes are really cool. Uh, one of my favorite things about these bikes has got to be the price point, so we'll start there. This bike is going to retail for $17.99. A lot of, excuse me, a lot of competitors in this price point are going to be closer to $2,500 and even higher than that. These bikes are $17.99. Right now, this is on sale in our store for $14.99 for a limited time. Guys, this is a whole lot of bike for $1,500. This weighs about 60 pounds or so overall. So I was able to lift this into the back of my truck. I hung the front tire over the rear tailgate. I took off, brought it home, and now I'm here making a video with you guys. I've ridden it around for about 10 miles or so, not a lot. I have not charged it yet after taking it out of the box, so I don't know the overall total range yet, but I will find out, and I'm sure if you guys ask me in the comments a little later on, give me about a week or so and I'll be able to tell you. Uh, but guys, I'm really in love with this bike. We have the Icon e-bikes, which are really fun to ride, super smooth, super comfortable, and trust me, I wanted to bring one home every single day, but they are a little bit heavy, uh, so you're not gonna lift it into the back of your vehicle as easily. This right here doesn't have the rear suspension, so that's gonna be a lot of the weight savings. It's also gonna ride a little rougher, but you have these really thick tires. These tires are gonna make that ride so much better than just a regular mountain bike. I mean, they are big. It's probably, what, four inches? It's a pretty big, wide tire. This is a hybrid bike, so you've got the lockout on the front suspension, which is a really nice feature. I love using the lockout, especially if I'm gonna be on and off-road which here we are, you know, we have trails. We also have a lot of pavement. So there's that. The seat here is easily adjustable. This is a large frame bicycle. So don't be expecting to ride this if you're uh, not very tall. I'm six foot three. This is very easy for me to ride. Let's adjust it back. There we go. But yeah, guys, check out the fit and finish on this thing. I mean, the brakes work really well. Nice disc brakes. Very solid heavy-duty kickstand. Really nice matte black rear fender. This is a really nice gloss silver paint. But the matte black rear fender on the back and then the matte on the front. Your battery pack right in here. Really nice finish. I mean, guys, it's just this is incredibly nice for $1,500. You've got a really solid billet, triple tree. Awesome Shimano shifter there. I mean, even down to the grips, this is a nice bicycle. Hydraulic disc brakes, suspension. I'm digging the, uh, the billet pedal housing, or the chain housing there. The uh, screen on this bike is really awesome too. It's a very nice and clear uh, color screen. Very, very clear. You've got your battery power up here at the top. Then you've got your throttle level or your assist level, like the, the motor is actually moving here at the uh, side. And then you have the uh, pedal assist as well there. This bike will move from a dead stop just by giving a throttle here. You can see it's starting to go. You have your trip and your uh, odometer. You've also got a headlight. This will dim down when you turn your headlights on. So at night, that screen won't be blinding you. 
blinding you. Uh, but I will say, I rode this earlier when it was super bright outside, sun directly over my head, and I could see the screen just fine. A lot, should, lot could be said about that. I mean, there's a lot of products out there where you cannot use the screen at all, you know, during the day in the bright sun. You got a nice little uh, bell thing there. I could live with or without that. It's not very impressive, but hey, you know, it's there. But yeah, guys, that's enough about looking at it. Let's go take it for a ride. I'm going to do this one-handed again, just like I did the icon. I accidentally turned the phone off there. I'm going to do this one-handed, just like I did the icon e-bikes in my uh, last video. So right now I've got the pedal assist turned all the way up to five. That's pretty heavy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the, uh, the gear select all the way down to one. Okay. So actually I'm going to turn this off because we're getting ready to go down a hill. So let's get it shifted down. All right. So now I'm, I'm working with no pedal assist here. Just riding this like a bicycle. This is a steep little hill. <laughs> that took both hands. <laughs> That's okay. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that pedal assist back up. I'm going to switch hands here because the throttle is actually on this side. And I'm going to just pedal this. All right. So there we go. Now the throttle is, the pedal assist just kicked in. So I'm just gently pedaling there. here now and I'm just using the pedal assist only I got a new microphone recently guys so I know there's a ton of wind right now I can barely even hear myself talk but I think you guys can hear me okay on the uh, new microphone hopefully the video looks okay as well I finally upgraded and got myself a new iPhone so I can make better videos for you guys I'm going about 12, 13 miles an hour here on this trail. It could go a lot faster, but I'm making a video on a trail. I'm not, uh, I'm, I'm a little dangerous. I'm a little reckless, but I'm not crazy, especially on gravel. But yeah, guys, I mean, no, no effort from me at all right now. And I honestly, I haven't charged this at all. It came right out of the box at, uh, what, about 70% or so. I put six miles on it so far. And uh, still 59% battery there. I like this new mic. It's on my lapel and I can actually talk a little bit better and have both hands on the steering wheel here holding the camera. The brakes are a little bit noisy, but let's go back to 1500 bucks. You know what I mean? Not a whole lot to complain about for 1500 bucks. Now I'm gonna do some pedal assist up a hill here. It takes a second to kick in, it seems like. It's gonna take some getting used to, I'm sure. Okay guys, I accidentally uh, turned the video off again. So, what I noticed is I actually had the uh, the lockout on. So I had this set up riding on the street. This is a hybrid type bicycle. So if you're familiar with a hybrid, you'll know what this is. If you're not familiar, you won't understand, I guess yet. So I'll show you. On a on a lockout style bike, you can lock this front suspension, so you have no travel, no movement. You can also unlock that, and then you will have front suspension travel. So if you're going to be on road, you'd want that locked, so you have the most stability and the most control. If you're off-road, you're going to want that unlocked so you have a little bit more uh, impact absorption and you can have a little bit more of a pleasant ride. So I went ahead and unlocked that. And this bike's also got dampening. Uh, so these shocks are adjustable dampening, which I'm a pretty heavy guy. I've got that turned all the way up right now. <clears throat> um, you know, there, there could probably be some room for improvement on those front shocks. But at the end of the day, I mean, I've got a... $2,500 bike in my garage and 
you know, it has a better front fork system on it, but I have to do all the work myself. So there's that. But yeah, let's take it for a ride, guys. There's a golf cart coming down the path, so I'm gonna go a different way. I'm not pedaling right now. I'm only doing the uh, throttle assist. Going up this hill here. Hope I don't stop the video again. Here we go. Okay, I've got both hands on the wheel. Let's go. It's 20 miles an hour right here. I mean, guys, it, you really can't ask for better than this at that price point that these are at. I mean, that was a pretty nasty little bump I just went over right there, and I still have all my teeth. I mean, I'm riding around with one hand here. I'm not pedaling at all, guys. I'm making this video 100% using the throttle, like kind of like a, a motorcycle. If I do pedal, I'll tell you. You know, obviously I'm, I'm not doing anything crazy. No, no like wild jumps or anything ridiculous, but this is a nice little bike ride to watch anyways. This is, uh, this is my neighborhood. Nice little place to come relax at the end of the day. Unlocking that front suspension made a world of difference. Honestly, I, you know, I kind of dogged it a little bit a second ago there, but It's night and day different. This is a lot smoother more enjoyable ride right now. I still haven't pedaled We've been on this video here for about a mile and a half so far Been keeping an average speed of about 12 13 miles an hour Try, try not to fly off here. It's a lot of gravel. A lot of gravel. I mean, this is a golf cart trail, but this is awesome, guys. I uh, I've actually never had an electric bicycle. I've never owned one, and uh, never really gave much thought about owning one until I saw these electric uh, bikes from Go Tracks. They are actually. Um, they have a corporate office out of Dallas, Texas, and they're not too far from us. And they came into our showroom and we sat down and talked about how their products could integrate in with our products. And, you know, our main focus is providing reliable, cost-effective neighborhood electric vehicles, which, you know, have been golf carts. Um, but this, in my opinion, qualifies. And the GoTrax line of bicycles is uh, pretty awesome. They've got, I, don't, I think about seven or eight different models that we just brought in, as well as an electric dirt bike that uh, that goes about 60 miles an hour. But um, they've got some with storage racks on the back. Look at that. Oh, there's the lake. That's such a nice view. And there's that golf cart again. Anyways, they've got about seven or eight different models uh, that we just brought in. This is my favorite. This is gonna be the Tundra bike. And uh, from the best I can tell, with no uh, pedal assist, you're getting about 20 miles an hour out of this. Hey guys, how are you? Doing great.
still not using the pedals. I've just been making this whole video so far just using the throttle on the handlebars here. Um, so the Tundra is a pretty big frame bicycle. I mean, if you're a, if you're a big guy like me, you're going to love it. If you're a very small person, this probably won't be the best bike for you, but GoTrex has some really cool bikes that have uh, very similar characteristics, minus the suspension and the large, big fat tires. They've got some really cool bikes that I'll bring you in some other videos later on. And those actually fold up and you can fit them in the back of a compact car in your trunk. And so I'm really excited to make videos on those. Uh, here pretty soon in fact i've got a little compact car that i'll be using for those videos and uh i'm gonna take a, i'm gonna take one of those bikes to another bike trail instead of a golf cart path guys these, these are good I, i'm pretty happy with the overall uh, ride quality on this i haven't ridden it long enough to tell you how it's going to hold up but i can tell you that they do have parts availability and we have all the parts available on our website. We've been selling quite a bit of parts. I think we've been getting somewhere around 30 or 40 part orders a, um, a, a week on these GoTrack products, mostly their scooters, which we also got. I'm impressed guys, I think this is a really good product. I was impressed when we saw them at their factory and that's why we decided to bring in their bicycle as well as their golf cart, which we'll, I'll be doing some content on that here soon too. Um, I think I'll probably end up keeping this particular bike at the house. I don't think I'm gonna take this back to the shop. I'll go ahead and just mark this as mine. Not a whole lot more I can do besides just ride it. So you probably won't see any videos of it like you know going faster or anything crazy, but this is a great product. I'm, I'd be happy, more than happy to own this. And for that reason, I'm happy to sell it. These are available on our website right now and they should be on sale at $14.99. Uh, $14 That's a limited time sale price, so make sure you don't miss out on it. Regular price on this is $17.99 and it's still a great deal there. Yeah, guys. All right, I'm gonna wrap it up right here. It's getting dark outside. So you got the GoTrax Tundra, electric bicycle, guys. Really smooth, pleasurable ride. Awesome fit and finish. And I honestly can't believe that these price, uh, these price points are what they are. In my opinion, this should be every bit of a 2,500 or more. Uh, price point bicycle but it's not so for that matter guys take advantage get these bikes we do ship them nationwide they'll come in a box to your house where all you've got to do is throw the front wheels on um, you know just make a couple of adjustments straighten out the handlebars nothing crazy very easy to put together and uh, we do offer returns on these as well uh, you do have to pay for shipping on that but you can return it if you're not happy with it something that's just unheard of in a uh, product with an electric motor that you're going to go take out and just try out exactly how I just did off-road getting it dirty if you're not happy you can send these back um, you know within reason but uh, guys give us a shout 972-478-1332 if you have any questions on these bikes feel free to call our store there and ask for me my name's Kevin happy to answer any questions you might have or get with one of our other sales guys there and uh, if you're in the DFW area, come by one of our stores and take one of these for a ride and see if it's something that's worth uh, adding to your garage. But I'm out of here, guys. I'm going to go take it for a little ride and then head home. Have a great night.